it's February. On the high plateaus of the Bolivian Altiplano, at an altitude of 3,700 meters, the season of the harvest, the rain, and Lent has arrived. Carnival is about to start, and the people in the town of Ororo are putting the final touches on their performances. People have been preparing for months for this fascinating age-old pilgrimage. on pilgrimage Saturday, they will don their costumes, masks, and accessories, and follow the same route that arrives after several hours at the base of the Virgin of Socavon, the Virgin of the Mine, the patron saint of Carnival. I was born in Oruro, but because of my parents' work, we live in La Paz. During Carnival, I come back to Oruro every week to rehearse with my group. There are 55 groups during Carnival, and most of them have dance troops in other cities like La Paz, Santa Cruz, Cochabamba. The people in the town are extremely attached to their origins. That's why I always come back. Three of my grandparents live here. I feel at home in Ororo. Because the Virgin is here, she guides my life. And my family is here. It means that Aurora is the center of all the energy. People come here to rest and recuperate, to gain strength to manage everyday life. I started dancing with the Fraternidad Artistica y Cultural La Diablada when I was six years old and I have never changed groups since. The position of your arms is not right. They must be as rigid as possible. Keep in mind that you will be holding the costume serpent. We are a united group, and the first thing the public sees is the overall effect. So you all have to be impeccable, perfect, holding yourself elegantly. Why? Because if one person makes a mistake, it means we all fail. You don't notice the girl who dances the best, because you are all supposed to dance well. You only notice the one who makes a mistake, the one who is out of line or not with the rhythm. You carry a heavy responsibility on your shoulders. I'd give anything to be able to still dance with you. Everyone like me who has danced in this group still loves it, and they miss it. Now it's your turn. In the name of all the former she-devils, please don't disappoint us. Symbols, don't forget. One, two, rest. Band, everyone plays. The same phrase in three quarters time. Today 
I was five years old when my father started the band in 1985. It was beautiful to see him participate in the carnival. I loved the music, the costumes. I loved everything. My brothers have been playing in carnival since they were very young, but I couldn't because I was a girl. Women playing music were frowned upon. You never saw any. But when the first one took the plunge, many others thought, why not me? And we all joined in. When my mother died, something awoke inside me. I decided that in honor of my mother, who wore Indian skirts, I would dress as she had. It was such a success. Everyone in the village thought it was great. It was fantastic. Before, in Bolivia, people treated women dressed in Indian skirts with scorn. So many of them, seeing me like that, came up and congratulated me. When I started to dance, people gathered around me. I wasn't treated with contempt. Quite the opposite. We needed security people so that the photographers left me enough room to move. There were microphones, cameras, television. For me, it was fantastic. I loved my first year at Carnival. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. La cultura de Oruro yo soy, la esencia cocal y también. Es por eso mi Oruro brilla en carnaval. La cultura de Oruro yo soy, la esencia cocal y también. Es por eso mi Oruro brilla en carnaval. Carnaval is not just about dancing. There are many other artists, marching bands, folk dancing, the Lito Manta group who, like us, have to innovate year after year to create new songs especially for Carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, for this song I'm going to invite Basilia from the band in the village of Popo. She's here with her symbols. Choose your partners. We're going to dance.
the Shrine of the Virgin of Socavon. This is where the 100 or so carnival dancers and musicians, recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage site, end up on Saturday after parading for half a million spectators. Built by the Spanish conquistadors on the site of an Andean pilgrimage site that had existed for millennia, its location is said to have been chosen by the Uru people, one of the oldest cultures on the American continent because of the region's mineral wealth and volcanoes. Dancing up to the feet of the Holy Mother is a way of thanking her. But it is also an opportunity for our dancing brothers to be able to transform their lives. Carnival is an offering to the Virgin. People say that she is the one who decides who will dance. She decides whether you dance or not. It doesn't matter how much money you have, where you come from, your origins, your occupation. There are lots of people who had their costumes ready, the membership dues for their group paid, yet still don't manage to make it to the end. They say that it's the Virgin who makes the decision. Myself, thank God, I keep dancing because she allows it. And I will continue to do it until she decides otherwise. After centuries of cultural domination, the face of the Ururo Carnival is now undeniably Catholic. Each legend in the rich Andean mythology was systematically co-opted by the conquistadors. Wari, the ancestral god of fire, was transformed into a devil. The sun princess, Nyusta, into a virgin. And the February festivities to thank Mother Earth, Pachamama, into a popular story about the struggle of good against evil. While the Catholic interpretation of carnival is omnipresent, its soul remains deeply rooted in the Amerindian world that is constantly evolving. Some offerings, please. Here for the house, Pachamama, money, business, health, the ants, the serpent, the condor, the wind, and the Virgin of Sokovon. Here, there are two large metal dragons with a transparent handle. Here, there will be fantastic piping with sequins. And there, magnificent accessories. Excuse me. How are the layers doing? You have to make sure they're really flat so they don't fold over. Every dance has an origin, a story. And every costume is decorated with iconic elements. The serpent, toad, lizards, armadillo. All these animals play a role in our traditions, our legends, our myths in the stories our great-grandparents told us, which are deeply rooted in folklore. You can tell lots of stories by looking at the costumes. Sammy is so beautiful. Let's take off the shirt. Now you're dressed. Like this. There are still lots of surprises. 
That's good like that. It's beautiful. I would put a little fringe here. I dance the Diablada in the group of she-devils. In the legends of the town of Ororo, they say that the Diablada represents a struggle between good and evil. When Lucifer came to dominate the earth, the Virgin sent Archangel Michael. The dance represents this battle between the angels and the devils, between the Archangel and Lucifer. They fight, and with help from the people of Ororo, the Archangel wins. Good triumphs. The devil looks so beautiful. Look, there's the devil and the serpents. There's everything. The nose, horns, fangs. Just a few days before the procession, the characters participating in Carnival begin to take form with costumes and masks that are changed every year. First among these characters is the Devil. As the iconic figure of Carnival, its mask, more than any of the others, tells the story of the religious syncretism and cultural influences of all the people who have lived on this land. The llama ears that were sacred to the Uru people were transformed from the ancestral masks into devil's horns after the Spanish arrived. The lizards, introduced by the Aymara and the Quechua, were changed into dragons, like those printed on the boxes of tea imported in the early 20th century by Asian immigrants who came to work in the mines. When we talk about the Aurora Carnival, we show the devil's mask. Not a clown's mask because the mask is a representation of the deadly sins, envy, lust, and all of mankind's evil feelings. That's why you can't wear your mask into the shrine, because once you get there, your sins have been washed away. The mask is a burden that you carry, as if to say, I'm like this. The heavier the mask, the more difficult the dance is. It's like doing penance. When I put on my mask, I'm saying, I'm envious. And when I reach the shrine, I've completed my penance. Then I can breathe, and I feel free. Pilgrimage Saturday, the most important day of the year, approaches with an increasing number of official ceremonies. The prayers to the Virgin and the alcohol poured on the ground in thanks to Pachamama overlap with the original ancestral rituals practiced among families and members of different groups of music and dance. Let's toast for this carnival to go smoothly. Little Virgin of Sokavon, protect our musicians. So be it. So be it. The vigils are times of spiritual communion, when the worshippers experience their shared identity. 
All devoted to the Virgin, the 50 groups each express a different identity during the vigils prior to pilgrimage on Saturday. Love for the earth, or an attachment to a tradition, the glorified portrayal of the country's ancient history, or a tribute to a face too often ignored and scorned. To our Virgin of Socavon and to the sacred Pachamama, may they always be by our side with their blessings, and may our participation in the carnival be a success. When we eat, we eat the sun, the air, the water, and the earth, and Pachamama. We are therefore part of Pachamama. We are her sons. So be it. We're going to invite a member of our brotherhood so that he can continue singing. So be it. For the family and the dancers, let us all be joyful this year. So be it. Here's your jacket. It's ready. Here's the pretty cape that you already saw. It has fringes now. Everything we wanted. Perfect. It's beautiful. Thanks so much, Monica. May the Virgin protect you throughout the entire year. We'll see each other at the next carnival. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a million. Goodbye. Two days before pilgrimage Saturday, Hundreds of communities from the surrounding areas fill the streets, all wearing their Sunday best. It is Anata Andina Day, a celebration created some 20 years ago to remind people that long before the costumed pilgrimage of Carnival, another one existed, complete with music, singing and dancing to celebrate the rain and the first harvests. It was an opportunity to show others the results of their labor and to help Pachamama renew herself through the gentle feminine sounds.
Hi. Hi. Is it okay? Move? Yeah. Move so we can see. See if it's okay. Turn around now, like that. We'll take measurements. It seems too long, by two centimeters. Your mask is beautiful. Magnificent. Yes, magnificent. Superb. I'm green with envy. As green as a toad. Wait, let me clear some space for you. I need room. Watch out for the ceiling. What more do you want to put on it? I have to decorate it because it's still unfinished. More decorations? Yes, it needs more. I think all the dancers are afraid that they won't make it to the shrine. That's the worst punishment for a pilgrim dancing in carnival. Because what we do here is so profound, it's such a huge sacrifice, not only physical, but also spiritual. But it would be a disastrous punishment not to make it to the base of the Virgin. like a nurturing blessing from the heavens to honor Pachamama. As if it were an additional ordeal during the pilgrimage of the dancers. The February rains have started to fall in nearby villages and are moving closer to Oruro at dawn on the most highly anticipated day of the year. We're late, once again. <laughs> my entire family, everyone, is following in my footsteps. My two nieces are also coming, dressed in their Indian skirts. Before, I used to come alone, but in recent years, they've been with me. They love to come play at carnival. That's good. Very good. I'll turn around. Is it okay? Yes. Let's go quickly, otherwise we're going to get soaked. Everyone who dances does so out of devotion to the Holy Virgin of Sokavan. Myself, I go to carnival because I love the music. That's my main motivation. I have music inside me. As soon as I hear it, I want to play. I hope it stops raining, otherwise we're going to get wet. <laughs> Did everyone take a shower? <laughs> Is it too tight? No, keep going. No, no, that's enough. My maternal grandmother died when I was eight years old. 
Hasta el día de hoy la extraño demasiado. I miss her a lot. Y mi mamá me dijo que Shortly que after, por ella. my mother asked me to dance for her, to dedicate my dance to her so that she could leave in peace. Pueda irse con Dios y él esté en paz. Y fue la primera vez que yo empecé a bailar. It was the first time, and I danced with so much awareness. En todo el recorrido solo pensaba en ella. I focused on her throughout the entire procession. I prayed and asked that she be in peace and that she always be by my side. She is my guardian angel. She is always with me. I know that she loves seeing me dance and I do it for her. You are so beautiful, my daughter. Let's toast. May the Virgin welcome us. May she help us all the way. It's forbidden to remove your mask before the end. The first hundred meters are very beautiful. After, you wonder what the hell you're doing. Sometimes you cry behind your mask, and once you arrive, you say, Holy Mother, thank you for what you have given me. Or else you pray. I wish I was dancing this year. I don't know what I'll do when I have to stop dancing. But why do you think this is your last year? <laughs> I have other plans now. Life goes on in La Paz. And I have projects. I want to have children. I want to be a grandfather. <laughs> of course, that's essential. The end is near because I need to move on to another stage in my life. This is probably my last carnival. I've been thinking about it for a year, so I'm totally dedicated, as if this were the end. That way it will be less painful when the time comes to leave carnival. <laughs> I'm scared. Calm down, okay? <laughs> scared to no longer dance. That the Virgin won't let me finish. She'll let you finish. Don't say that. Everything's okay. Calm down. Do your very best and have a good time. Come here, my child. In Ururo, Pilgrimage Saturday is also called the entry, when the dancers and musicians who have come from far away enter the town. Thousands of pilgrims arrive to display their pure devotion. That's good, thanks. Can I take a photo with you? Of course. This represents democracy in action because there are no distinctions in terms of color or social status. Everyone is united by their faith in the Virgin of Socavon. It's as if we were a single body expressing the joy we're experiencing right now during Carnival.
55 dance troops, some of which have more than 1,000 dancers, are participating in the non-stop procession on Saturday. Starting at 7 in the morning and continuing well until after midnight, each one of them has a specific time to join the parade and approximately five hours to reach the doors of the shrine. At noon, when the first groups have reached the end, Adriana is only just getting ready to leave her house. Help yourself. Help yourself. This is the only thing we will drink today, because we're going to see the Virgin with all of our faith. A small glass for her, so that nothing happens to us. We have to bless the masks. The masks and the costumes. So that you'll always be with me and that you never leave. Don't be silly. <laughs> Mama, so that you'll always be with me too. <laughs> The procession is long, five hours, with the heat and a lot of physical effort. They say that it's a purification. This means you are clean when you stand before the Virgin. We dance wearing custom-made plaster masks, which are very heavy. It's not easy to dance with a mask. You can't see on the sides. There are big horns. It's heavy. And you can't breathe very well. You endure all of this for the Virgin. When I put on my mask, it's like coming to terms with myself. I'm alone. All I can hear is my own breathing and my own voice. And I can't talk to the others. That's the beauty of the mask. You're alone in your own world. Even if there is a multitude of people around you shouting and applauding you, you don't pay any attention because your goal is to reach the base of the Virgin, dancing properly the whole way.
Padre y de su Pastor los juntos, Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia. Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, bendito es el fruto de tu vida. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra vida. Just before dawn, the last groups reach the Virgin. Pilgrimage Saturday is over, and Carnival Sunday begins. Starting at seven in the morning, without the same devotional duty, all the dancers follow the same route they took the previous day. And the celebrations and joy continue late into the night. Sunday is the day of celebration, the joy of the dancers and sharing with the public. We parade without our masks, singing. When the parade takes a break, we sing with the public. During Carnival, I'm happiest when I'm playing music. I dance, people applaud, they're happy. That's what I like the most about Carnival. I'm proud to be from Oruro, from Pupo, to see all these people who worked so hard to make such a unique, fantastic festival.
After carnival, you won't see your friends again until November. You won't dance to the rhythms you love. You will no longer be in your element. It is the moment when, with a heavy heart, you have to say goodbye and keep your tears for yourself until next year.